thing that you can consider is equity. Will you offer investors a percentage of your project? In this model, when you're offering equity to the deal, it's a little bit different than debt. And the reason why is you're going to establish a percentage of the net profits that you're willing to pay the investor. Now, yes, you're giving up a piece of the pie. However, the benefit behind it is you don't have to worry about the debt service every month. You can focus on getting the deal done and ultimately share the profits with them on the back end. So these are very fundamental pieces that you need to start developing in your mind. What are you willing or interested in doing to offer your investors? You guys with me so far? Yeah. Everyone's like, uh, I think. <laughs> it's very simple. Sure. And we will develop and, and build on this as we go on, but I really want to create a platform for what you guys are doing. So again, when you decide what product will be the collateral, the other question is, am I going to offer debt? Am I going to offer equity? Or am I going to do a combination of both? A combination of both basically means that you might work on a project and say, you know what, this is more of a longer term project, so in order for me to really convince an investor to give me their capital, I might have to offer them some sort of payment structure on, the, on a monthly basis for this project. And in addition, I might give them a percentage of the net proceeds after we've capitalized the transaction or resell it or refinance it or whatever that tra strategy is that we'll talk about later. So it's crucial for us to really look at that and start considering it. So start thinking about that as you start constructing your personal business and start really trying to figure out what it is that you are going to bring to the table. What are you going to offer an investor so that he or she says, you know what, I like your model, I'm interested in investing. Because I can assure you, before you even get to the real estate part, if you don't have terms written out, an investor's not going to listen to what you have to say. You guys with me? It's very important for you guys to know exactly what it is that you're willing to offer. Now, will this evolve over time? Absolutely. You might create multiple products based on the different needs of some of the investors that you're dealing with, which is what we've done in the past. But again, it's important for you to at least start drawing out what that looks like as it